Today, I'll show you how to do your Virgo CX crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Verbo X and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll talk a little bit about the exchange itself. Then I'll jump into the integration, which today is really straightforward since they don't have an API feature. And then I'll jump into how to get the necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, uh, I'd be glad to give you some resources and help you out. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Virgo CX is based out of Toronto, Canada, and it was founded in 2018. Currently, it is a service that's only available to Canadians. So when I show you the tax documentation, I'll show you the Canada specific stuff. It is a very standard, very basic, very beginner friendly platform. So if you're new into crypto and don't want to be overwhelmed by the all the different you know feature sets, then it might not be a bad platform for you. They currently hold 95% of their digital currency in cold storage, and they operate as a money service and fully regulated by Fintrex. So that's fantastic, but that's enough about the wallet. Let's jump into the actual integration part of the video. Okay, so firstly, we're gonna sign into our Coinly account, head over to the wallet section, click on add wallet, and then we're gonna type in Virgo CX. Um, here it is, and as you can see, there's no API option for this one. So we're gonna click on import from file, and I'll show you where to get the necessary documentation from the exchange. So first things first, you're gonna log into your Virgo CX profile into your account. In the top right corner from the drop down menu uh, under your profile, there's gonna be a option that says e-document. You're gonna click on that, and then you're going to select the report you need. So you're gonna click on the transaction data and make sure you select cryptocurrency. And then here you're gonna select an appropriate time range for you. So if you've had an account for let's say several years, make sure to import your entire transaction history. This is because Coinly needs to be able to count, calculate your you know, cost basis and stuff like that. So make sure to include all your data for all the years you've used it. This might be several different documents. So that is your transaction data. That's your you know withdrawals, deposits. Now you're gonna need your trade data. So make sure to click on the second option, which says trade data, and then follow the same steps as before. Include your entire transaction history. This might be one document. This might be several documents, documents but make sure to get all of that information. So once you have that information, make sure to take that file or those files and drag and drop them into Coinly and then in click import, and there you have it. It's as simple as that. So once you have that information loaded into Coinly, you can head over to transactions to review any trades or withdrawals or all your information is here. Coinly has done all the hard calculations. If you'd like to review it, obviously you can do that. Once you're done looking at that area, head over to the tax reports area, and here you can see your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, and you can use this area throughout the year to kind of keep track of your crypto activity and see where your crypto taxes will end up. And once you're done looking at your information or reviewing it, head on down and download the complete tax report. And keep in mind, this is a document you can give directly to an accountant to combine with your other tax documentation, or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. Um, and lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations uh, because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of this video. Um, if you need further assistance, I'm going to leave some resources down below. Firstly, we have the Coinly Help Center. We have countless different articles about crypto tax related things. We have a you know discussion section, a forum section. We can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section where you can report any bugs or issues you're having with the software. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can leave us a message directly and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.